see for yoga you no need so much big place just a little place like this is good enough it's good if you have a chair so I always recommend people to do squats no matter what your age <laughs> you know even you have problems in the knees I tell you most of the, your knee problems will be fixed by just squatting just like even sit down slowly and you stand up a couple of times you do that you're actually many of the knee problems are gone by doing this I'm not saying everything every pain, every problem of the knee but many problem many people got cured by simply squatting up and down you sit on the chair stand up or sit down more deeper it's very very good so let's begin so I would like to start uh, with some cardio exercise you know it's very important to at least make your breath like this you know at least for a few minutes it's very very healthy I recommend people sometimes to do yoga hit in the beginning at least for 10 minutes good for everybody good for your heart good for your lungs and your lungs exercise so that you can increase lung capacity you would breathe more better and you feel fresh throughout the day because your lungs are full of fuel is the tanks are full of energy so very important to do this breathing I recommend you all to do in the morning the moment you get up from the bed take a, a big glass of uh, warm water make sure you drink a lot of water you know very important throughout the day and not like just sipping when you're little 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 like you know like nowadays it's so much like everybody taking a little water no your body needs a good amount of water so when you feel uh, like drinking just take a big glass and then leave it the best is in the morning then then later again you start drinking water is very very important it actually cleans a lot of uh, uh, problems dehydration is and it's very good because every part of the body in, even your knees the synovial fluid is 99 percent water but if you don't give water and if you don't drink water that can cause a lot of problem hmm? So people sometimes uh, they don't like to drink water because they think they need to go to toilet <laughs> more often or they feel like the water uh, you, you feel swelling in the feet and all this but understand one thing so swelling is nothing but your body is not able to get the water into the, into the cells so if you have that kind of problem maybe you should start trying to take Himalayan pink salt or Celtic salt another very good salt which is very good just a little bit of it okay so the Celtic salt have a lot of uh, minerals which will actually help the water get into the cell so you won't have the problems when you give a right kind of a salt but avoid all kind of table salts just throw them away say they're not very good for you because the table salt doesn't have all the minerals that need so it's good if you try to get salt even in the morning if you add a small crystal of uh, Himalayan pink salt in the water and you drink it perfectly fine because it has a lot of minerals in it hmm? it's not just only uh, sodium or so here after you drink some water get to do some exercises it also helps elimination so place your hands on the hips like this and touch the heel to the buttock to wake up the nervous system mm? like this when you touch the heel to the buttock you breathe out <sniffs> through your nostrils mm? so try this way so let's do do with me just 20 times ready here we go right heel touch the right <sniffs> left <sniffs> you see exhale so this actually keeps your legs very active and wakes your nerves up <laughs> you feel energetic now hands on the hip and here we go 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 that's good and you see slowly you can notice your heartbeat is increasing this is very important the next one we're going to do is place your hands up like this and now cross your right elbow to the left knee and the left elbow to the right knee so this improves coordination 
Hmm. Hands like this. See. Opposite. So let's do 20. Every time you bring a knee to the elbow, you exhale. Here we go. Now notice how we feel. You can feel a bit like that. So it's very, very good. Now next one you're going to do is 20 times you do squats. But if you have a knee problem, you see, you sit back, inhale, hinge from the hips and just lean slightly your upper body. Okay, but don't bend too much, just little and Try to get up as quick as possible, right? Inhale, exhale. Inhale slowly, exhale. By time, you'll, your body knows and you'll be very active. By the, by the way, doing this will help you have a good stamina. Even you walk upstairs, stairs, up, you don't feel like tired. You are full of energy. So try this. 20. So here we go. Inhale as you sit. Exhale quickly. Stand up. Like that. In, out. 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 In, out, in, out, in, out. Good. So like this. If you can do the, all these three exercises and maybe two, three times, very good. You should feel this. So that's very good. So lungs increase capacity. And by the way, understand, the more you practice breathing, you actually get 20 times more energy than the food. That's why you notice most of the yogis, they don't need a lot of food. With the breathing, they actually can live longer. They, most of the yogis actually eat once. I myself also have a big meal in the afternoon. In the mornings, I don't. Of course, I don't recommend to every, for everybody because my body type is good. I don't eat. In the morning, I start having a big meal in the afternoon and then evening is just a soup or some fruits that's it so actually you feel good everybody can try it is like nowadays they call it as intermittent fasting but yogis did this long time ago so we say a person who is a rogi eats many times in a day rogi means sick person okay bogi the second uh, is called bogi. Bogi means pleasure seeker. He eats more than three, four times because he feels the pleasure. But a yogi eats only one time. So that's why there's always saying yogi, rogi, bogi. <laughs> so it's okay if even you try to take two meals in a day, perfectly fine. The best according to Ayurveda and yoga, it always talks about taking in the afternoon, the right time to eat. So have a good big meal and then cut down on in the evening to have a little soup. Try for one week and see how you feel. If you feel like your energy is coming up, you feel very energetic, you feel lighter, why not? And you feel painless because too much of stress you know, causes a lot of inflammation in your body. Eating too much causes a lot of inflammation. So try to go for more green vegetables, more greens, the lot, you have to put that way and you go for the next is very important is proteins. You can get it from all kind of beans. My favorite protein is beans, mung beans, you know, kidney beans, lentils. These are powerful. They are easily absorbed by your body. And those who are non-vegetarians, I can I recommend them to go for fish if they are non-vegetarians. That is the best one than any other. 
uh, but usually vegetarian is the best the more you take vegetables but uh, and oils please don't avoid oils people think it's oils are very not good <laughs> fats are not good no they are very good healthy fats if you can have avocado if you have virgin coconut oil you have almond oil uh, other than canola safflower sunflower they are genetically modified so better avoid them so go with these oils which are very very good uh, healthy and especially coconut oil is very good sesame oil is good so you can have you make food with that so that will help so very important not only exercising please understand you can do a fantastic exercise but if you're eating bad and eating too much of carbs that could cause a lot of inflammation and it raises your insulin you know the sugar uh, will be high for many people who are taking carbs and please understand those days some sometimes when i go for some lectures people say oh uh, those days we used to eat wheat and all that what happened now no those days is different now it is hybridized wheat so that is not the wheat which we used to have before so check it out and try to eat healthy and exercise so please remember tap tap 20 cross this is good for relieving back pain and good for exercising abdomen muscles because you lift this way cross it keeps you active the third a simple one there are many but these three are good enough and try see how 20 times then now we go into a little bit of stretches to improve digestion and after that i make you do some surya namaskar i have a variety of surya namaskars but today i'm going to teach you something easier so let's do so sit to the back of the mat if you can uh, sit like this but if you have a knee problem i recommend you to place some thick blanket under your knee so it's soft and you just come into child pose so give it a nice stretch but it's resting head down and now slowly inhale come up on all fours chin up good now just practice just like three to five times from cat you go into dog pose and drop your knees inhale and you exhale very easy it wakes up your spine the health of the spine is long life even you do just a little moves like this will help exhaling in downward facing dog inhale exhale in and exhale and the next easy move for everybody so i'm trying to teach something quite easy for all ages now please lie down on your stomach legs slightly apart rest your toes now place your hands and move the hands a little front so that it's easy for everybody to come up into cobra now come like this and turn right side can you look at your heel okay turn left side can you look at your feet heel and then lie down like this you can do three to five times so let's do two more for today very good to help relieve constipation you come up like this and you can go down so you exercise your arms your muscles will become strong one more right lie down left now good now practice half dog and cobra so half dog is just like this your hips are up your hands are here you drop your elbows and touch the head see whenever you do uh, downward facing dog or half dogs you still improve blood circulation to the brain so it's like uh, doing a headstand and slowly you can lie down on your belly and then you come to cobra like this you do three to five times breathe out breathe in breathe out and cobra breathe in very easy and again push back half dog breathe out breathe in 
Breathe out, lie down. Cobra, breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, cobra, and half dog, breathe out. Good. The next step I want you to practice is stepping your feet outside. It's much easier for people who are obese or who have some problems with the knees. So you place your hands like this and simply step your right leg outside, closer to your right hand and just stay like this, easier. Now come back and then inhale left side. This will help also to open your hips and come back on all fours. Like this you do three to five times, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhale right side inhale and exhale left inhale and exhale <laughs> you see uh, many yoga teachers also find it a little difficult to go with sun salutations right away the moment they wake up from the bed I even I experience myself so what I do I first wake up my body with that exercises which we did while we are standing tapping the heel to the bum <laughs> so your body is slowly getting ready to do Surya Namaskars but some people even if Surya Namaskar is a very basic some people find it so hard to do it so you should start with this easy moves the body is ready now we can slowly go into this Surya Namaskars so I do I show you the easier way of doing it because See, Surya Namaskar is very good for all the joints, for balancing hormones, balancing the left side of the body, right side of the body. And every time you bend forward, bend backwards, you are actually improving blood circulation entire. And your muscles are exercised a lot. So I have a variety of sun salutations, not just only sun A, sun B. Thanks God, uh, I created very uh, many different ways of doing Surya Namaskar. So here I'm going to show you the easy option. So after you finish this moves a couple of times, you notice your body is ready to move forward. So this is the one you did. So once you finish, now you step forward like this, legs apart, easy. For people who are upper body type, you know, they can happily do this way. And now you slowly stand up. Now we combine all this together and make it a very easy salutation floor raising arms you can bend your knees to reach floor it's okay if you can't keep the leg straight to reach the floor and head down now step your right leg right side of the mat so you help your hips open inhale chin up now you come on all fours like this you see easy inhaling and now you lie down instead of knee chest chin like traditional way easy is lie down and now we come to cobra inhaling and you can also do some neck moving so your neck is happy and healthier then you come back into half dog then you come on all fours and you step your right leg outside your right hand and you step your left leg outside your left hand head down and inhale raise arms and you bring down we do two more times after that uh, I'll show you the actual way of moving Surya Namaskar inhale and exhale step your right leg right side of the mat again inhale chin up come on all fours and you go into child inhale and you can lie down on your belly cobra inhale and half dog exhale inhale right leg step forward exhale left leg step forward to forward bend head down inhale raise arms up and namaste in out right leg step back you see even you just bring the right leg back and forth you still work both sides because my right leg is back, his left is forward. 
So ultimately, the other side is also excised. Now come on all fours. You can go child. Lie down on your belly. Inhale to cobra. And half dog. Step your right leg outside. You see now my left is at the back. Right is in the front. And now come forward. Leg slightly apart. Head down. Inhale, raise up. Now. Try this easy way first. Slowly build up stamina. And then you can do like seven times or 14 times, even 21 times. If you watch my YouTube Master Kamal, you see a lot of videos explaining the different ways of doing sun salutation. Maybe you can join me there. And now I'm going to show you the actual way. So your feet together, you're inhaling, raising arms up, fall forward from the abdomen. Abdomen is touching your thighs, then your head down. And now see, when you take your right leg back, you sink into low lunge like this, where your, you bring your buttock close to the heel and chin up. The, the right leg knee is down, not to the side. And now come to downward facing dog. And now drop your knees, chest and chin. And now slide forward into cobra. Active toes. Now come down to downward facing dog. Step your right leg forward and try to bring your right buttock close to the right heel. And slowly come front, head down, raise arms up, relax. So like this, you do seven times or 14 times. I tell you, try this. Just try. Morning you get up. Do this, all these exercises, 20, 20, 20 squat and do sun salutation. If you have uh, a very short time, because you might be busy with a lot of work nowadays, people are very busy, they can't find some time. At least you do little rounds of this. I'll tell you, you go to work, you are very active, very sharp. You br your breathing is very good. Your mind is very sharp and you are you become very creative and you notice your energy is well balanced throughout the day and you can cope up with the stresses. That's the beauty of doing yoga. It teaches you how to celebrate life every day. So once you finish this sun salutation, I still, if you have some time, I recommend you to do a little bit of abdomen exercise to increase the fire, the fire of digestion, elimination and the fire that digests life. So you can simple, do a simple exercise like this. You can come on your elbows, stay. Uh, we're going to do uh, Navasana, the boat posture, but easy one. So just stretch one leg in the front, like a V, the other one here. So, and push the navel towards the spine and hold there. That's the first step you try. Okay, and then come back. That's good. Still, you fire up your muscles. You see? Right leg straight, left leg straight. Now hold it. Good. And hold for like 20 seconds possible and then bring it back. Now, if you, once you're good with this, then you slowly add, lift your hands off and you just stay like this. See, touching the lower back, round it, not arching. So it can hurt your back. So stay like this. And a little bit down if you bring your legs is more harder, but here it's more easier. So choose your option either here or a little more down, but make sure you don't arch your back. Now holding like this, you can come back on the elbows, relax. So do this at least five to ten times are recommended because it's very, very good to improve digestion. The very important is to keep your stomach healthy, full of fire. So that will help digestion also. You see, the food, no matter how healthy you eat, if, if that don't digest, so it's no point. You see, so you need to have a good digest to fire. So even you eat good light food, like your greens, they all can be digested very well. Otherwise, they turn into armor because there is no digest to fire. So the all the highest fire should be here this is the place so keep that fire so we call gut feeling so that actually gives you a feeling of 
you know health confidence and strength and willpower let's say if your gut is weak your digestion is weak you can't have a great mind you feel tired exhausted you feel weak with every thing that is happening outside in the world so keep your gut happy do a couple of rounds like this then after you finish this remember hold for 20 seconds rounding back arms are like this after finishing this you can lie down slow little bit now strengthen your back press the entire feet knees bend heels close to the buttocks now press the feet entire and feel the back muscles firing up including the lower back now hold it this for 10 seconds come down and you can do a little variation where you move a little halfway away out and then you press the heels toes up and you tighten and then try another one which is keeping your legs straight slightly apart press the heels lift your buttocks up so very good to do a different way uh, the bridge like we have a variety of bridges <laughs> so you can try so that will help relieve the pain or tension and also strengthen various muscles in your body so start here go a little bit out and more straight possible try that right now a little twist is good to do just drop your knees right side and the left side and the right side loosen up your back and then hug your knees massage like this up and down and sit down yes now just I'm going to teach you one breathing exercise you can do this lying on the bed you no need to get up sit down like me and do it the moment you get up from the bed sometimes I do that to wake my energies up so you can lie down on the bed the moment you get up in the morning you no need to get up you just lie down and practice this breathing so here I just want you to do one minute of Dirga Swasa, yogic breathing. You got to take a deep breath. Breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the mouth. <sighs> By the way, stop breathing through the mouth, in and out. Not good. It's okay to breathe out through the mouth, but always learn to breathe in through your nostril and breathe out through your nostrils. But here, the method where we practice is you inhale through the nostril exhale through the mouth so you try to link the inhalation and exhalation whether it is short or long one if it is short you still making it the moment you exhale you inhale exhale inhale or you when you're taking a deep breath inhale and the moment you finish the inhalation you exhale and the moment you complete the exhalation you inhale so you try to keep that link why it actually keeps your mind centered and bring your mind to the present moment for many people it's very hard to meditate they sit down and start thinking so many things <laughs> so i actually first recommend people to do breathing and chanting and say let's say you're overthinking and you have a lot of thoughts and a lot of uh, emotional disturbance and you try to meditate i don't recommend that because it's you are you are not able to empty them and you cause more stress you feel stressful when you are in that state so I recommend people when during that stage like anxiety some problems some issues outside it's good to practice breathing and if you still want another way there is another way is where we chant mantra so you can chant certain mantras to keep your mind centered and and slowly let that sounds slowly take you to the deeper levels of subconscious states to awaken your dormant powers two ways breathing and mantra choose either one so most people they you know connect very much easy with the breathing because you see whenever you're very stressed your breathing also is stressed and you feel exhausted tired but when you start pumping up energy breathing you feel good so we going to, I'm going to make you do one round I'm going to guide you I just say going to say the sounds like breathe in two three four exhale out two three four so you try to keep breathing in and out see experience how we feel so this one we're going to do like a minute of deep breath 
and another minute you're going to speed up but make sure you're breathing fully speed up like I'll say in two three out two three in two three out two three easy so you just keep going so towards the end I will ask you to breathe in and hold your breath and you have to breathe in just hold breath and you have to feel the calmness don't hold with any tension hold so you try to hold your breath for 30 seconds and then you breathe out completely let go then you can do the second round remember one minute dirga swasha inhale very deeply as possible for a four count exhale for four count and one minute fast breathing in two three out two three so very quick and towards the end after you finish two minutes you inhale and hold your breath for 30 seconds gradually increase holding breath for one minute gradually increase to one and a half minute like me I hold my breath to three minutes and when you come to that state you actually dive deep into the subconscious states awakening your dormant powers because breath the prana reaches every cell in your body you become very powerful very creative very sharp and your health of the nervous system will be very good actually in my breath work I created a, a technique called Amrit breath work I do some workshops so I teach the patterns of breathing so here I'm teaching you where you inhale and hold breath but when you come to my workshops I will teach you very different way of uh, breathing where you also breathe out and hold breath for even three four minutes you'll be amazed without any breath without any air in you can actually feel very relaxed and peaceful but that needs guidance so that's why I don't teach here so here we're going to do Antar the one which I'm mentioning we do Bahir Kumbak so Antar Kumbak is where you hold your breath and hold it so let's begin just try a couple of rounds remember one minute in 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 deep breath ready now you can sit comfortably anywhere you like relax your hands back is straight if you're sitting but if you lie down just comfortable lie down happily relax try also by lying down and notice how you feel okay so either you're sitting lying down get ready relax your body now you should remember to breathe in through your nostrils and imagine you're breathing from the abdomen up into the chest and in we begin in three two one in two three four inhale out two three four out of the mouth like this in two three four out two three four follow my voice in two three four out two three four in two three four out two three four keep going in two three four out two three four more breath in two three four out two three four 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 keep going in two three four out two three four 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 come on keep going in two three four out two three four increase prana in two three four out two three four 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 in two three four out 
two, three, four. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four. Speed up. In, two, three. Out, two, three. 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 And now take a big breath. Deep breath. Inhale. Hold your breath in. Be in the present moment. Feel oneness. Be fearless. Notice any tingling in your face, in your fingers, in your feet. Just be here. And now, exhale to the mouth. Shh. Breathe normal. And notice how you feel. After just a while, you can start again the second round. So this way, you can do three rounds. Inhale deeply for one minute. Inhaling and exhaling. And fast breathing, quick one. Rapid breathing, inhaling and exhaling for another one minute. After that, you inhale and hold your breath. You can go for... 30 seconds to a minute but teach your body don't try to hold with tension hold your breath calm and once you finish wait breathe out and just relax and notice how you feel for a few minutes before you open your eyes so try this simple exercise it doesn't take much time and also Start observing what you eat and build your health happiness. You know, uh, the more joyful you are in a day and less inflammation and pain, that means you are in the right path. You just check how you feel. If you need any suggestion or you need any consultation with me, you can contact me. Uh, Dr. Shaker has my, all my information. You can visit me on my YouTube, uh, Master Kamal. That's it. <laughs> and you can see and you can contact me by coming to my website, masterkamal.com. There is a lot I do. I do the consultation. I do treatments and also I do uh, teach a variety of yoga courses and I do the courses. You're most welcome to come and join me. Uh, right now we are doing in Hanoi. And it's called uh, Kaya Mana. It's the name of the place where we offer all these diploma courses in yoga, 200 hours, 300 hours, 500 hours, and also Ayurveda courses and treatments as well. So that is a great thing with this place called Kaya Mana. You can contact us so that you can come down. Beautiful Hanoi and Vietnam is so beautiful. There are a lot of beautiful places you love visit. And experience the bliss and happiness and nature, you know, and surroundings and the treatments. Join me. Thank you. Uh, 
I wish you a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks to uh, Dr. Shaker. Thanks for this great day, the 21st. Yesterday I was a very, it was a very busy day for us here. So, so be happy. Be healthy. Thank you, sir.
had already program we are putting together this wonderful program it is a very affordable easy to downloadable you can have the sessions and then in between we'll have a direct interaction with the master kamal directly we will be doing and in future if we are doing more and more programs master kamal is ready to come to embark to the united states of america where he can provide the knowledge to you not only america brazil australia new zealand singapore india anywhere he is ready to fly and we are very very fortunate to have such a wonderful soul with us master kamal jai hind jai hind